Let's get it. Yes, sir. What up, fam? It's your boy, G. Ridge. Happy Sunday, everybody. I got one for you. Yes, sir. Smother cube steak. It's going down today. I'm not going to do, do, do too much talking, but I got to say, I hope y'all having a blessed Sunday. I hope everybody's staying safe. Be careful out there best way you can, okay? All right, so check it. Yeah, you know I got to say something about the USA basketball team. Come on, man. Come on, fam. Yeah, sir, come on now. First game, we don't we, we lost. Uh, KD, 10 points. D, D Lillard, 11. Come on, fam. You playing for the country. I know they say you're the best player in the world, KD. I beg to differ. But um, I know they say you're the man now. But you got to bring out them leadership skills. See, that's the difference between LeBron and you, in my opinion. I could be wrong. But anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Let's get into this. So hold on tight. I'll be right back. All right, fam. So here we go. I'm going to put the onions in. Well, I'm showing you the onions, sorry. And that's right there. That's one-fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour. That's salt and pepper mixed together, fam. That's meat tenderizer. Yes, sir. And that's one half a cup of another all-purpose flour. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that in a minute. That was four, four cups of water. And that's one pack of the Lipton's Beefy Onion Soup Mix. Okay? Now, I'm going to spread the meat tenderizer onto the meat. And we're going to let it sit for like um, 30 minutes before we start, you know, getting ready to start cooking and everything. Okay. Dump it on there pretty good. All right. So now we're back after 30 minutes. Okay. That's salt and pepper. We're going to put a little salt and pepper on it. Yes, sir. Get it good and seasoned. Mix around a little bit. And then we're going to add the one half cup of all purpose flour in a minute. A little more uh, salt and pepper. I have like 10 thick pieces of uh, cube steak. There it goes. Now we're going to mix it up real good. And then I'm going to add a little more salt and pepper with it, fam. You got to get, get it good and seasoned because if you put that flour on it, it tempts to override the seasoning. And trust me, it's going to come out perfect, not salty, just a little bit more. Bam, that's it. Mix it in there real good. Now we're going to attempt to start putting it in the pan, okay? Now, when you're cooking the cube steaks first, cook it on the medium high between, uh, let's see, from 1 to 10. You might want to put it around number 6, okay? And you got to cook the meat 75 to 80% done. Yes, sir, because the time you add the water and the flour in it to make your gravy, you don't. you can let it simmer cook. You know, like uh, another 30 minutes after everything is put in there. You'll see towards the end what's going on. Okay? Make sure it's done 75 or 80% all the way. Because when you add that flour in the gravy, and when you're cooking for the last 30 to 45 minutes, it'll tenderize the meat even more. And definitely be done all the way through. Yes, sir. All right, in a little bit we'll get ready to take this part out and then we'll start the second wave, okay fam? It's gonna be good. I mean, ooh we. All right, we're removing the first wave, okay? Yes, sir. You can see it. I gave you a thumbs up because, I mean, it's done. It's basically done. People can eat it at, you know, it's 75% of the way. I'm not, but, <laughs> you know, to each his own. But we're going to make sure it's like 75% to 80% done. And then, you know, when you simmer cook it the rest of the way, when you add your gravy and stuff, hey, I'm telling you, man, it need to be good and tender. Melt in your mouth, not your hands. All right. Now we're going to add the onions in. Now we're getting ready to make our gravy. Okay. And that's where the the other one-fourth of a cup of all-purpose seasoning. I mean, all-purpose flour, sorry. That I'm going to add with it to make my gravy. 
Okay, put some onions in the bottom. Then I'm going to add the flour and then the meat. Okay, I'm also got cooking going on too, fam. I got some green beans with some ham hocks over there in my historic cook, okay? I got Corey Greens on fleek already. You know he got to have his greens, fam, so. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, there's the greens. Nice and cleaned off. I meant the green beans, sorry. I'm just, man, I'm, I'm ready to eat, you can tell. I'm all over the place. All right. Now we're going in with the all-purpose flour. I'm doing a little bit at a time. You don't want to just chunk it all in there at once because I want to mix it. Get it incorporated with the, the oil and the, you know, the season that's left in the bottom of the pan. Yeah, you don't want to throw none of that away. Let's scrape the bottom of the pan. There it is. You see what I'm doing? That's what you want to do. Yes, sir. Here's the rest. All right. Okay, so eventually I'm going to add the meat to it. And then the water. Now what you want to do, fam, listen. When you add your water, you do not want to overflow. You don't want the water to take over the pan or the pot, whatever you're cooking in, okay? You want it to, um, the water to meet meat level or a little under it. And you'll see what I'm doing when I pour it in there. Now we're going to add all the meat. Just stack it on in there. Okay. All right, now is the, here's the water. Okay. See what I'm doing? I'm to the side of the pan. And I'm going to drop some in the middle as well. I'm mixing it up. See that? It's starting to turn already. And there's the rest of the water. Now I'm going to add my Lipton beefy onion soup mix, okay? Oh, that enhances the flavor with the little onion gravy flavor taste to it. You're going to love it. Stick with your boy. Now I'm going to lay the last little bit of onions on top. Put the, put the lid on it and let it cook, fam. Yes, sir. For another 30 to 45 minutes on low. I just turned it down. Bam. In your mouth. All right, fam. We're going to go ahead and check in on it. See what's going on. These cubes, they... Oh, fam. Look at that. You see how it only turned out? Do you understand? See, it wasn't going to look... It wasn't looking like that when we just got started seasoning. Now, look at it now. Look how the gravy, gravy don't turn. Yeah, sir. So, all I'm doing, I'm just letting it... I'm letting it just slow simmer cook, however you want to say it. I got it on low, so it can just meat just get gets so the meat can just get tender. Yeah, my mouth water, so the meat can just get tender and tender and tender. Yes, sir. The entire process take about uh, an hour and a half, roughly. Okay, so now I'm going to move on and go get ready to the, put the green beans in with the ham hocks. Okay, so hold on tight. I'll be right back. All right, fam, so now it's time to put the green beans in. Yes, sir. Going in, fam. One thing I like about this is cooking. While it's cooking, don't worry about that. It won't overflow. <laughs> Not like the stove or the pot do. Now, listen, this is what we're going to season them with, okay? All right. Seasoning salt. I'm not gonna measure this here, I'm just gonna put it in there. That's good. Just a little bit of cayenne. I don't wanna come out. And just a little bit of accent. Accent flavor, you do not have to use accent, okay fam? You do not. We just like to use it down here. A lot of people can't have accent, that's okay. Just a little bit. And some chicken oil or chicken grease, whatever you want to call it. Going in. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the top back on it and let it finish cooking. And we'll be back with the finished look. Hold on tight. I'll be right back.
All right, fam, here's our finished look. That's the rice. And those, yeah, those are the greens. You know, that's for Corey. You know, that my boy be on it on Sunday. Dad, you're going to cook me some greens. You gonna, and he, well, I tell you, he be on it. Anyway, but this is what, that's what he going to have. This is what we're going to have. We're going to have the rice. And mama, there goes that man. Cube, smothered cube steak. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at that. I'm about to make baby plate. And I'm going to let baby taste test it for y'all, fam. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, hold on a sec. Now, here's the green beans. That's what. Oh, fam. Would you look at that? Huh? Yes, sir. Look how the ham just don't broke off. Man, I'm not playing with y'all, fam. Man, I hope y'all have a wonderful Sunday. Mine about to get real good right now. Look at that. That's the thing of beauty. Yes, sir. I'm be ready to finish, uh, fix baby plate. And I'm going to let her tell you better than I can. All right, fam, and there's my finished look. Look at that finished plate right there. Man, you got the starch again, the veggies, and the protein all in one package. There's baby, this baby plate. We're going to walk it over to her. Ooh. <laughs> it's your time, baby. Man. Yeah. You already know. You got to move her stuff out of the way right quick, fam. Yeah, because I, I, I got to have some room. <laughs> they been here grinding. Let's get it. That's the beat. Man, okay. I'm telling you. Ooh, you're going to love that one. Food. I'm about to see, man. Nourish my mind, body, and soul. And bless the hands that prepared it. In Jesus' holy and precious name, I pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Happy Sunday, everybody. Tell them how to tell them you got to take that cube steak. Yeah. You know, this is my all time favorite yep. meat. It's cube steak. Now, look at that. She's she cutting it with a just a fork, fam. Yes, ma'am. It's our 10 days yes, coming sir. out, fam. Ooh, let's see here. Mm. Your boy getting better and better, fam. Tell, tell him, don't you tell the truth, Shane the devil. I already tell you, yeah, yeah. See, family, what, what, a lot of stuff, a lot of people, things that people don't know, that beefy onion Lipton soup, it enhances the gravy flavor. Trust me. Lord, have mercy. Stick with your boy. Love y'all to life. G Rich out. Why are you doing this to me? In your mind. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Galen Lenard Richardson. Yeah, you don't told him my old damn name. Oh, my gosh. G Rich. <laughs> they want to call me. Wow. You have done them again. I can eat. Y'all ain't got to eat dinner tonight. That's all that's mine. The whole pot of cube steaks, rice, and gravy. That's all I need. <laughs> Absolutely. Bye, y'all. This is my. This is me. This is you made this like I do, like uh -huh. my granny do. Uh huh. Okay, but yeah. yet you don't do gravy like that. Negro, no, please. I know. I, just, I season it, season up in my table. Yeah. Bye, y'all. <laughs>